Hello students, welcome to Mathopedia. Class 11, exercise 2.9, question number 4. Resolve into partial fractions x by x minus 1 whole cube. The factors of the denominator x minus 1 whole cube are x minus 1, x minus 1 whole square and x minus 1 whole cube. So the given fraction can be split as a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 whole square plus c by x minus 1 whole cube. So now taking LCM, the denominator is x minus 1 whole cube. So a into x minus 1 whole square plus b into x minus 1 plus c. Now on both sides we have the same denominator. So it can be cancelled. We get x is equal to a into x minus 1 whole square plus b into x minus 1 plus c. Now we can assign suitable values for x to get the values of a, b and c or we can use another method to solve this that is x is equal to a into use a minus b the whole square formula. So we get a square plus b square minus 2ab plus b into x minus 1 plus c. So that is x is equal to multiply a. So a x square plus a minus 2ax plus bx minus b plus c. Now group the like terms that is x is equal to x square term we have only one so ax square and we have two x terms so taking out x as the common term we get minus 2a plus b into x then we have three constants a minus b and then c. So plus a minus b plus c. Okay. Now equating the x square terms on both sides. We have a x square is equal to, see on the left side we don't have x square terms. So 0. From that we get a is equal to 0. Next. Equating the x terms on both sides. So we get minus 2a plus b into x is equal to, see on the left side we have x, x. So cancelling x, we get minus 2a plus b is equal to 1. And already we have got the value of a as 0. So minus 2 into 0 plus b equal to 1. So we get b is equal to 1. Okay, next equating the constants on both sides. See here the constant is a minus b plus c. So that is a minus b plus c is equal to on the left side we don't have any constants. So equal to 0. Now already we have got the values of both a and b that is a is 0, b is 1. So plus c is equal to 0. From that we get c is equal to plus 1. So we have got the values of a, b and c. So substitute these values in equation 1. So equation 1 becomes x by x minus 1 whole cube is equal to a we have got 0. So 0 by x minus 1 plus b we got 1. So 1 by x minus 1 whole square plus c also we got 1. So 1 by x minus 1 whole cube. So that is equal to 1 by x minus 1 whole square plus 1 by 
x minus 1 whole cube. So this is the required partial fraction. 